I want to invite up Fernando Pizarro from Spoon Radio. He's the VP for North America. Uh, Fernando's a tech exec, leading author on startup topics. Uh, as I said, he was VP North America at Spoon Radio, um, really the top audio live streaming platform in Asia. Um, I can't believe this. I'm very jealous. You've lived in 14 countries. You've studied yeah. lots of forgotten languages. You've written a lot of books. I'm so psyched you're here today. Fernando, thanks for joining. It's great to be here, Jim. Um, so give me a little bit of the history of Spoon Radio. Um, you know, we're talking about, <laughs> uh, Austin was talking about a company he hasn't even announced yet that's out there. And you guys have been out for five, six, seven years, started in, I think, Korea. Talk about the journey from the beginnings in Korea to now being in North America. Yeah, I mean, the company was started in 2013 on a totally different business model. Um, they were swapping out batteries in cell phones in convenience stores. Um, that kind of died when the form function on phones st uh, changed. Sorry, I'm getting a really bad echo. I don't know if this is, uh... Yeah, weird. I'm not hearing it. Yeah. Um, so they changed the business model when the form function on phones changed. And they were in the wilderness for about a few years trying to figure out what to do. And that's what I came up with, um, the Spoon Radio concept. Um, Haley got product market in Korea. And within that, we rolled out to Indonesia and Vietnam. And uh, since then, they've been on a roll. So I joined a year ago a bunch in the U.S. 18 months ago. And um, it's been a great ride. Cool. Do me a favor. Move your microphone a little closer to your mouth. Um, because you're breaking up a little bit there, um, okay. and we'll see if this works. If not, we might. Uh, well, well, we'll see if this works. If not, we'll move on and uh, and come back. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, um, or maybe we could get on spoon. No, that's much better. Maybe we could get on spoon. <laughs> you're, my in, my tech crew, which is one person, just freaked out right now. <laughs> but yeah. that sounds good. Is... You don't have to hold it up to your mouth. You can let it let it fall. Okay. Uh, you sounded good before you took it away. Um, so yeah, I love that it's going from Korea to here. How did the idea of what Spoon Radio is today come about? And um, and and give us a state of what you guys are doing now. Yeah, I mean, I think the the origin was in creating an anonymous audio social network. So if you recall, in that time frame, a lot of folks were doing um, there was uh, anonymous, the type of text based anonym anonymity focused social. Um, but people weren't using it in that way. They started using it to broadcast. And very quickly it became clear that what they wanted to do was have a new version of radio, of talk radio, of people listening and interacting. And it was very much a young person's thing. So what we found in every market that we've rolled out is young people want to have this really authentic audio interactive experience. Um, and the other thing that became quickly obvious uh, is that people were willing to pay to support the people that were streaming. Um, so unlike anybody else out there, we, we, we make money. I mean, we're, we're going to do $100 million in revenue this year, and we've got people in Korea and Japan making north of a million dollars a year, um, and, which is you know, different from what's happening in other audio platforms. What's that monetization like? Is it subscription based? Is it tip jar? No. Is it virtual goods? No, it's virtual goods. So, you know, we make some relatively complex stickers that come up in the chat window. Um, our interaction is probably a little bit more lean forward and kind of young and engaging than some of the other more utility focused folks. Um, so, our users are buying stickers that take over the stream and that kind of stuff. Um, and everyone sort of as well from that. Nice. Um, so I'm, I'm fascinated by some of the thoughts when you think about what audio is and how you produce original content and the concept, which I'd love for you to elaborate on, which is kind of the theater of the mind. Talk about yes. what you mean by that. So we as a company, and I personally am just fascinated by this idea that we've created a new creative format, right? And it's not only audio for us. There's this interaction with the stickers and people talking to each other. And so, um, you know, to, to really have the theater of the mind, you have to suspend disbelief. And audio is sort of like the perfect blank canvas 
right? So what our users are doing and what we iterate on with them and what we try to lead with our originals is actually totally new interactive shows, right? Shows in which the audience drives the narrative, in which the stickers that are coming up like affect the outcome and or, or even the plot. Um, you can imagine a lot of gamified you know, game show types of things, but we're actually looking at developing drama that's involving the audience, right? Where you've got the detective on the case giving a live press conference and the audience are reporters asking questions for the next clue in the, in the mystery, right? Um, so that's a relatively small part of what we do. I mean, most of what happens on our platform is young people talking with each other, socializing, showing each other support. Um, but from a creative standpoint, I just I think that's fascinating. It's like the rise of talkies after after silent films, right? Yeah, I, I love that you're doing that, that drama and I'll choose your own adventures are developing. It's like, uh, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of some For men. Sure. Spoon right. knows, like that's no, the we, sort of thing we can get going on your platform. Oh, um, and in, in Japan, we've got full on, because they have this, this tradition of voice acting, right? Famous voice actors. So we've got like full on troops of, of drama people developing these things live, with week, weekly episodes, and you're following it like, a, like you would almost a soap opera. Yeah. I, um, by the way, as an aside, uh, we are doing a lot of VidCon Now content in Asia as well uh, with a team based in Singapore, and we're help working with them on that. And I definitely want to do more about what you're doing and what's developing in Asia around audience. So put a pin in that. We'll talk about that uh, down the road. Um, but uh, a couple of other things I think it's interesting, and you think about audio for yourself and for the company as a safe space. How do you see audio as being a safer space, say, than text or video or other social platforms on the internet. Yeah. I mean, I think it's been said before, right, that audio represents kind of this middle ground between the cold sterility of text and the super hot in the moment of video, right? From our standpoint, as a company, we love it because when you go to video, it very quickly goes to porn. And we, we, that's not what we want to be about. However, it's extremely intimate. Like uh, my... My story of uh, joining Spoon was I jumped into a live in Korea and the woman, she says, oh, welcome. I don't really speak English, Fernando, um, but let me sing you a song. And, and she started singing this Ariana Grande song in my, in my head, right? Um, but that's safe. That, it, it's all safe. And we see that as a super important part of our identity. We go in moderation. So we do 24 7 moderation. We drop in on almost every stream. Um, we monitor other chats and we ban people. Really, we over rotate on banning, banning people because we want this kind of like welcoming, safe thing. So if you go on Spoon, you will immediately, almost guaranteed, it's like, hey, welcome, Jim. Thanks for coming in. Let me show you the ropes, this kind of stuff. Um, I love to say we need more safe spaces on the internet. So thank you guys for doing that and bringing that in and heavily moderating. It's so important. Um, Absolutely. real quickly, um, talk about what's next for the company here in North America and then how people can find it. Yeah. Spoonradio.co. Please go there. Um, in North America, well, we're going to have several new product features coming up. We are doing what we call a renewal in Korea. Um, meaning we're going to redo the product. Um, it's going to focus a lot more on discovery, which is the problem you were alluding to earlier. And we're going to be releasing multi-call, which is multiple users on the same call. Right now you do one-on-one -on -one with people in chat listening. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's a lot right there. Cool. So Fernando Pizarro, thank you for joining us. Spoon Radio. Sure. Appreciate it.